How you guys doing? It's Dan Lutz, AB Normal Outdoors. Shot a little tease picture on Facebook the other day I was carrying. Why well, you probably wondering why I'm standing here 70 degrees outside and I got my heavy hunting coat on with the liner inside. It's not a weight loss program. <laughs> what it is is to show uh, a piece of equipment that was made by Randy Smith. And uh, he stitched gear outfitters. And I, I got turned on this about two years ago. And uh, uh, I wasn't sure about it so much as it's uh, practical use, let's say, until I use it. You see this belt on me right here? I'm in a very thick coat. And I'm, I, what I have on it right now is mounted the Master Woodsman. Randy calls this the horseshoe. Uh, this is a universal mounting system and carrying system. Uh, it's winter time, bulky coat. You see these right here? I can adjust this for how thick a coat I want on it. I can tighten it up or loosen it up. But the thing about it is, anytime you try to reach for your knife, squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, whatever, deer hunting, it's always underneath this coat for me. I have to raise up, unzip. So Randy's thought process was, hey man, I'm gonna hang it outside. I always carry horizontal. It's just, while I'm trapping, my fingers are important to me. You fire a trap off, I use a knife as a pry bar, I can. And with this, this harness system, it's a cross draw system, two hands, pull out, no problem. I can see the sheath to put it back. I'm back here trying to get it under my coat and try to put the sheath back, the knife back in the sheath, it's okay. This gives me a left-handed option. The knife is out. Locate the knife, put it in my hand, safety. Same thing with the right hand draw. Push down and out, she comes. This, this sheath right here is designed for a push-pull type deal with your thumb, but it will come out. I'm burning up now. So what I showed you was the use of this. Uh, and why I have a heavy coat on is because of, of showing what, what it could do in the wintertime. So bear with me. Like, feels better already. So, uh, Let's get into this. This is, like I said, this is Randy Smith's deal. He showed it to me. And we took them down to the Pathfinder Gathering last year and actually sold out of them. He had mine made for me last year and I hung it on the trailer door. He sold it. <laughs> he said, I'll, give, I'll make you know, I don't care. Right here's his, his business card. It's kind of blurry on my phone. I don't understand why. But uh, like I said, his name's it's Stitch Gear Outfitters, Randy Smith. His number's 513-305-7098. Now I met Randy about two years ago at a gun show. And uh, I really like his thought process. He likes thinking outside the box like me. He's an AB normal guy. That stands for abnormal. And we like that. And you can see I just took that knife off. I want to get you a better view of this thing. Now this thing is overkill. I want you to take a look at that stitching. I'm sorry guys, let me put it upside down. This one's got my logo on it, so uh, he ain't gonna sell this one. But I want you to look at the brass. This is why you come out of saddle world. The thickness of this thing. This thing's carrying a, a, between a 10 and 12 ounce uh, skirting leather with brass or stainless hardware, depends what you want, and copper rivets. You're not going to, you could lead a horse with this thing. What's impressive about it is uh, what you're going to see is a couple items that he's been building. We've been working on this for over a year. I was laid up from back surgery and stuff. But you can see it's a, I have a quick disconnect, you know, so I would get hooked up in the wire or, you know, out in the woods, couldn't get it off. I just reached down and disconnect. It's got two disconnects on, by the way. But what the disconnects are for, what makes them real handy is you pop it off and one of the bags we've been working on, and this will be a separate video, but you can see that I can take this bag, and this bag's just heavy, super heavy, thick leather. And if I squeeze it through there just a little bit, pull it through. Now, there you go, guys. Possible bag. How fast? Over the shoulder. 
shoulder carry, day hike, mushroom hunt, you know, throw some tackle and go fishing. You got it. Hang it on my side, throw it behind me like a half sack out of the way. Real simple. The other thing is, is uh, I can pull my ask, axe mask on it, no problem. So if I'm not carrying my axe on my belt, doing camp chores, want to walk around with it. Uh, this also is going to have its own video on it. Okay, me and Randy worked on this, kind of my design on this. There's Grand Forks Brooks, guys, and there's the sheath. But like I'm getting at, this ain't a video about the sheath. But now look, mango, left side carry, no problem, man. It, 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 it's sickening on, on how good he makes this thing. Now I've got an axe carry over the shoulder, gone, man. Day hike, going out dragging wood. Don't really want to carry a big... Uh, you know, big bag and stuff. So, uh, the neighbor's gonna cut grass. Anyway. So what this video is about, is like I said, I met Randy about two years ago. He thinks outside uh, the line or the box like I do. I asked Randy about this, about a few items that he made for me. And he was like, yeah, I can do this. I think I can. Uh, we made a tender bag. That's that's a crazy hit. Uh, so I just want you guys, I want you to take a look at this stuff. This thing's over court and it's, it's it's affordable. Call Randy on pricing. I don't do pricing. I, I was for what he's got in these. I was shocked what it cost. And actually, I had a meeting with him Sunday. We went over all this gear. Went out to dinner. Me and my wife, his wife, and I asked him. I asked him point blank. I said, guys, I said. Uh, I said, Randy, you, you know you can make a lot more money by thinning down this leather. And he just looked at me and said, it's cheaper to run that thick leather. So it took me a while. Sorry about that. That's my dog. He uh, took me a while to understand what he was talking about. And it's basically, I'm going to build it one time. And it's going to last me basically forever it's leather goods it's biodegradable i mean if you leave it on the creek side for you know two years yeah it's gonna it's gonna hurt if you keep this stuff oiled up keep it dry if you do get it wet dry it out take care of it dude it, it's this this stuff is so heavy duty i mean you're talking two lifetimes to wear it out uh, I, and the way we bush crafters we're not gonna wear this every day it's gonna hand it down to your sons and, and your daughters and let them carry the axe or a bottle holder or whatever on it. So it's just extremely overkill. I mean, Randy, he's like me, you know, buy it once, build it once, done, you know, done. Use it to death and it'll hold up. So this is a short video. It's called the horseshoe. So if you're interested in one, call Randy. You know, it can change a little bit of color on them. Uh, but then if you want to, uh, we're going to Pathfinder Gathering again. If you want to order one, and you're going to Pathfinder Gallery, pick it up down there. Be glad to see you, glad to talk to you. I mean, like I said, guys, I'm not kidding. We sold out of them, and he sold mine. And you're right. But it's a, a short video, introduction. I've got like five more videos on five different ideas we finally got done. I think you're going to like them. Uh, I'm not a leathersmith, guys. I go to where I don't build knives. I go to the master knife makers. I don't do leather. I go to the leather people. Uh, if I'm going to do woodworking, I go to a wood place. Uh, and you buy it once. Once. Made in America. This leather's made in America. Randy was made in America. <laughs> and this stuff's made by an American. So just remember that, guys. So, you, you know, when, when you're looking at this, buy it once. I see a lot of thin axe mask. I wasn't ever happy with them. Even Grand Forks Brooks, it's just a cover. Uh, you lay it down in the weeds all the time. This thing's hooked to your belt. It's overkill. I'll have a separate video done on this on this axe mask. And I'll show you the features and the overkill we put in it. So thanks, guys. Hope you like this video. I'll be shooting another one here in a short. Thank you, guys.